Right now, Devon Lyman is testifying in his own defense. He claimed he killed APD officer Daniel Webster because he was afraid Webster was going to kill him because he was black, saying he was afraid he was going to be just another statistic. News 13's Chris McKee is live at District Court. Kim, for the first time, we heard from Devon Lyman about what he says happened that night. He claims he was complying with the officer when he was pulled over and freaked out when Webster went to cuff him. When he said, I got six other officers coming to put me in the ground, I thought I was going to be a statistic in Albuquerque, New Mexico, shot by APD. My children would have to get news footage of me being shot, me being killed by Albuquerque Police Department. Lyman's testimony came after the prosecution rested its case today. Lyman claims on the night of the shooting, he was riding on his motorcycle with an ex-girlfriend headed to dinner near Central and Tramway when Officer Webster pulled him over and cut him off in the Walgreens parking lot. Lyman says he got scared when Officer Webster threw his weapon. Webster stopped Lyman on a suspected motorcycle, stolen motorcycle. Lyman claims he bought that bike from a guy on Central for cash and thought it was legit, even thought it was legit despite it having a missing ignition. Lyman testified that he chose to shoot Webster because he thought a gun was being put to his head. I don't know I have a handcuff on my arm. I don't know that. I hear something. I'm thinking I have a gun to the back of my head and this officer is going to pull the trigger. Simple as that. I'm going to die right here, right now, and don't know why. Lyman also testified today that he does not know, he claims, who Savannah Garcia is. Remember that Savannah Garcia is the state's key witness who claims that she was on the back of the bike making drug runs with Lyman at the time of the shooting. Now, the defense finished questioning just, uh, Lyman just before 4 o'clock today, but we actually broke from court late today because the defense had put in a claim for a mistrial based on a question that the prosecution had asked. The judge dismissed the jury early. He said he was going to take it under advisement tonight and make his final decision on whether there would be a mistrial in this case tomorrow morning by 9 o'clock when court is expected to resume. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now on the stand, Lyman did admit he has a criminal history that includes manslaughter and heroin dealing. Talk of his criminal history had been forbidden in the trial. We'll continue to bring you live updates on the testimony and the live stream at krqe.com.